I'd like to share my experience with using Redbubble to make kind of a little bit of side income here in 2020. Now, I recently started using Redbubble, um, I, I believe it was in May, and I started selling masks on there. Um, I was a member of Redbubble prior to this, but I never really had anything for sale on there. I was kind of hesitant to use their site uh, because print on demand can be iffy, you know, like the quality can be iffy. Um, it takes a long time sometimes for customers to get their item produced because it's print on demand. So um, it could take, you know, several weeks. And so for all these reasons, I never used any print on demand before this, but I, I wanted to sell masks and I couldn't get the supplies to do it. I could get the printers, but the mask blanks are like back ordered and they come from China no one can get them. So if you want to make them, I mean, at the time, maybe I could get them now, but at the time in May, the only thing I could do was use a print on demand company. And so I decided to try Redbubble because they have a 100% money back guarantee. And this means that if people order products off of there and it comes in and it's no good, they can just send it back, get it, put in a simple form on there to say, look, I don't like my product. It didn't turn out good. Send them a picture. And then they just get to like keep or throw away the bad product. And then they get another one sent to them. You know, basically no questions asked, just a photo to prove that it was no good. And you know, the print quality was bad or something. And so I thought that would be really great for my customers. And I figured i will just you know, give it a try. And I'm really glad I did because I ha it's not that I've made a ton of money on Redbubble because I haven't. And I'm about to show you, we're going to go into my dashboard here in just a second. I'm going to show you all the stats and everything that I've done and sold on there. Before showing you the data, I want to show you, we ordered in one of my bath mats and it's of my kitty karma. I need to hold it straighter so it's not all bent, but it's of my kitty karma. And it turned out really good. Um, it's really super soft and it's thick and the backing has rubber. So all the things that they said in the listing, all the description, it actually is as described. And I, you know, I'm really surprised. I thought, I didn't think it would turn out this good. So I don't know if you guys can see some of the cat hair on there. We're using it as a cat bed. <laughs> but, I'm a cat person. <laughs> now we're going to take a look at my Redbubble stats. So if you come on here, you can see this thing for your dashboard and it tells you right away. Ever since May, I have sold 241 products and I have 14 followers and 542 likes or hearts. So I'm going to go to the dashboard. And if you were going to upload new pieces, you would just click this add new work button. I'll just do a little brief overview and you upload new work or you can copy existing work. It's very easy to use their upload system and to configure your products. But um, so, so far I've earned $391. Like I said, I, I'm not making tons of money on this. It's more of kind of like a side hustle, uh, but that's okay because these days we need side hustles. I mean, I, I know I do, I, I'm sure other people do as well. And if you've just got art sitting at home and it's all digital files that you've made and you own the copyright to, you could monetize it. It's very easy doesn't cost anything. And so then here you can see they pay out around the 15th of each month. And so I've received two payments so far. Um, one for the first one for 171 and the second one for 186. And then down here, you can see all the different artworks that I have and how many products I've sold of them. You can view the products like this one. It's all masks on the hedgehog. And this one, a mask and a ba mostly mask, but one bath mat. I think that was the bath mat I ordered. Um, and then you can also see, they give you all sorts of breakdown of your visitors, where they came from, and then the shares that I'm doing, uh, because I'm sharing this on social media. At the beginning, I shared it a lot more on social media than I have been. Um, but my sales have still been strong without sharing it as much. So that's good. And I have been sharing like this last month, I shared it more and, and I got a lot more exposure too. So the more that you promote your own listings on Redbubble, the better. And what I've learned about a lot of these marketplaces is that when you're starting a new account, it's good to drive traffic to your account from your social media sites for a while, because then it kind of increases your rep on their platform. It, it's kind of like, if you are uploading work and then promoting their site to your people, they'll reward you for that because you're giving them free advertising. And so Redbubble was no different than all the other sites I've used that method on. So that's what I did. I, I advertised it a whole lot at the beginning. And then now my, my people are just finding it on Redbubble and I'm not really advertising it as much.
Um, I do want to show you, we can go to my shop here real quick. You can see all the masks I have. I have it on other products as well. Um, I'm going to pick this one because I think I have the most products with this one. But I want to show you what I really like about what they do. If you have a full image of yours, they put, and you can choose how they put the watermarks, but they put watermarks all over it so that way people aren't able to steal it. And then down here, you can see some of the other products I have it on. I have it on pillows, things that's available on 18 products I'll show you. And these aren't every product. Um, it's not. They offer way more than this, um, but I just configured the ones that I thought looked good and made sense with my image. And you can upload different files. Like I made one that looks like it's checkerboarded because I thought that kind of looked retro and cool. And um, and then one where it's just my Karma Kitty. In closing, I would like to say that my experience with Redbubble has been really positive. I think it's awesome. And if you have artwork at home and you're trying to make a little extra side money, um, Redbubble is the place to go. Now, if you're trying to do it as a full-time thing, I don't know. I mean, maybe. You never know. Your experience could be different than mine. You could have different types of products and different people to market to. But for me, I mean, you know, making $2 per mask, it takes a long time. You got to sell a lot of masks to, to be able to make a full-time income off of that. So, but, but you never know. I mean, so yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.